folks speak on the dead all the time. You believe in karma? Nah. Oh, you don't? No, I don't believe okay. in karma. That's because you eat pork. No, 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 no. Because if, if karma were real, when do white people get theirs for slavery? Charleston White. Matthew 22 and 29. Yahweh Shah answered and said unto them, Ye do err, not knowing the scriptures, nor the power of God. Yahweh Bash Miao Shah. So I was going to say it myself, but, you know, I let this. The scriptures can say it better than I can. It's Charleston White. You do err not knowing the scriptures. All right. And to make that clear. Matthew 22 and 29 in the NLT. Yahweh Shah replied, your mistake, mistake is that you don't know the scriptures. And you don't know the power of Yahweh Bash Shah. Romans 9 and 12, it was written, it was said unto her, the elder shall serve the younger. As it is written, Jacob have I love, but Esau have I hated. Esau being the so-called white people, the progenitor of the so-called white people, where the so-called white race come from, and Jacob being who the so-called white people enslaved, right? Being the so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native American Indians. So as it says in verse 12, it was said unto her, the elder shall serve the younger. The elder out of Jacob and Esau, who are brothers, is Esau. Right? So the so-called white people were preordained to serve the so-called black people, Latino, Native American Indians, why, which is why they put them in slavery. And how do we know this? Revelation 13 and 10, he, right? Esau's a he, Jacob was a he, but he that lead it into captivity shall go into captivity. See that? What's another word for captivity? Slavery. So he that lead it into slavery, right? Captivity, meaning slavery, shall go into captivity, meaning slavery. He that kill it with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here's the patience and the faith of the saints, those that know this word. So we know. This is the reason why the elder, being Esau, these so-called white people, are written in the Bible to, have to, to before they did anything, put us in the, go, go, serve us, go into slavery to us, because they will have went on and put us into slavery. You understand this book deals with prophecy, so that's why they did that, and that's how we know they're going to go into slavery. It was already written that this was going to be, this was written before they even put us in slavery. This is already, these, these things were already written. So now we just got to wait and it happened. So now, you know, we just had to wait just like then. We had to wait for that to happen. As the Lord told us in Deuteronomy 28 and 68, right? You're going to go back into Egypt again, which is a, it's a word for, code word for slavery to the, so the Israelites, which is us, our so-called us so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native American Indians, but he said not only are you gonna go into slavery, right? Because the Israelites, the Hebrew Israelites, is in Egypt and slavery. But he said you're gonna go into Egypt, aka slavery, again with ships. Who went into slavery again? Who went into slavery with ships? Us, right? And you're gonna be sold unto your your enemies for bondmen and bondwomen, and no man shall bite you. That's what it tell you in Deuteronomy 28 and 68. So there it is. So you can see it just in case someone is a newcomer and don't know this. And it's too lazy to go look it up. It's right here. Deuteronomy 28 and 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. What does Egypt mean? Well, so it's like Exodus 20 and 2. It says, let's start at 1. God spake all these words saying, I am the Lord Yahweh, thy God. Thy God, which brought thee out of Egypt, out of out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Let's read that in the NLT. I am the Lord Yahweh, your God, who rescued you from the land of Egypt, the place of your slavery. So Egypt 
means slavery. So Deuteronomy 28, 68, and the Lord Yahweh shall bring thee into Egypt, meaning slavery again with ships. Who went into slavery with ships though? So the Israelites would go back into slavery again, but this time, the next time, you know, and this is said to them when they were coming out of Egypt on the walk, AKA coming out of slavery. He's like, if you don't listen, you're going to go into slavery again on ships. And remember, they walking from this slavery, from Egypt to Israel. So you don't, you're not going to go back and if you don't, you never will have to walk. They're showing you. I mean, you would never have to, you don't have to take a boat to get to Egypt from the place we're from. Based off us coming out of Egypt, heading to the place we're from, it being Israel. You know, the place we're headed to, which at that time was known as the land of Canaan. So showing you, you was going to go into slavery simply again with ships. Which is why the Bible say the Israelites were scattered all over the earth through the slave trade. These so-called black people. See that? By the wherewith of I speak unto thee, unto, unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again, including so-called Latinos and Native American Indians. Right, so we're going to go see our homeland again anymore, and there you shall be sold unto your enemies for bondmen and bondwomen, and no man shall buy you. So this is why we understand why it was already written that the elder being Esau, who was going to be these ones to buy and sell us. Right? What was already written to, to serve us. Because once again, he that lead us into captivity going to go into captivity. He was written, pre predestinated for him to lead us into slavery. And we had to wait on that to happen. Just like we read in Deuteronomy 28. He told us we was going to go into slavery. You know? Again, with ships. And we waited on it to happen. And it happened. So now, it's the same thing now. White folks speak on the dead all the time. You believe in karma? Nah. Oh, you don't? No, I don't okay. believe in karma. That's because you eat pork. No, 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 no. Because if, if karma were real, when do white people get theirs for slavery? Ooh. If karma was real, when do white people get theirs for slavery? You're a bad fuck for that one. I'm going to give you that one. I'm going to give you that one. So as we read on, <clears throat> it's going to happen. But let's read on. It says, what shall we say then? So... Let's start at 12 again. Romans 9 and 12. It was said unto her, the elder shall serve the younger, as it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. Right? That's why he would have these people to, to do such an atrocious thing. This will this would be in their record book. Because he hates them. Just like what's what's in our record book is not doing that to no one. You know? We ain't do that to them. Thus showing you he loves us. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, it says, what shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with God? God forbid, right? Because he controls what people do. It says, for he said to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy. Let's keep this simple, though. And I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. So then it is not of him that will it, nor of him that run it. So he's basically saying that he's having mercy on them? No. But of, just listen, though. It says, but of the most high, that she would mercy. For the scripture said unto Pharaoh, even for the same purpose have I raised thee up, that I may shew my power in thee, and that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. Right. So the whole point is he got these people waiting. Right. He ba basically the, the, the Lord. He built this man up, had him do all this to us. And it looked like he's never coming down, just like Pharaoh, just so he can show how powerful he is to where, you know, he didn't had us so long to where you would think he, you know, he controlled us. We ain't never getting out of this situation. But that's when the most high, you know, power will, uh, will, will be realized best. See that? This is an NLT for the purpose for the scriptures say that God told Pharaoh, quote, unquote, I have appointed you. For the very purpose of displaying my power in you, see, in you, and to the, spread my fame throughout the earth. So, yeah, I'm going to make you so powerful just so I, you know, basically to have people think you got, you can't be stopped. You will never get yours just so I could come and prove otherwise, right? So people could never doubt me in my existence and how I get down. You know, most how he moves and, 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 uh, uh, and, and, 
you know, mysterious ways, as Jake like to say. Right? Let's read on. It says, therefore, hath he mercy back in the KJV on the left, right, on whom he will have mercy, and on whom he will, he harden it. Thou will say unto him, me, why do he yet find fault for who hath resisted his will? Nay, but, O oh man, who who art thou that thou, that, that thou, who art thou that replies against God? Who you think you are? Right? It says, shall the thing say to him that formed it? Why hast thou made me thus? Had not the potter over the potter power over the clay, right? You like you like clay, you know. And I'm like the potter. I decide how you come out, situation, how everything go. All the whole situation is like clay, and I'm the potter. That's what the Most High is saying. It says of the same lump to make one vessel unto honor and un and another unto dishonor. But let's get to the point. What if God, listen, Charleston White, willing to shoot his wrath? And make and to make his power known, endured with much long suffering, the vessels of wrath fitted to destruction. He made them just to destroy them. He what if he what if what if that what if that's the case? But that is the case, cause that's what the scriptures say, and that's why you do err, and you have a void in you, right? It's a void of 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 of. For certain concerns that you haven't have answered, that you need answers to, you're getting answers to, you're supposed to have answers to, that you don't have answers to because you don't know the scriptures. See, this is in the NLT. In the same way, even though God has the right to show his, his anger and his power, he is very patient with those whom his anger falls. Who are destined for destruction. He letting this man run it up and really show that, you know, he letting the years pass. The Lord don't forget nothing. There's no statute of limitations on judgment. Understand that. Right? So, Charleston White, he, you know, he says the Lord's using this dude like, I believe he's like, you know, a, a, a different element. Of the, the spirit that the Lord placed upon uh, Kevin Samuels. You know what I'm saying? He's like a different angle of that spirit. Right? Uh, uh, from a different place. To, place Placed upon someone from a different background. Right? A different walk. Right? Ultimately, right? And uh, he's pointing out things. He points out things. But on this one, he's off. You know? So he points out a lot of things, you know, we agree with. You know? But in this, he's off because he don't ultimately know the scripture. So let's say play again. So that's 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 how that works, right? When do the Mexican cartel get theirs for chopping heads off and killing babies? When do the Crips and Bloods get theirs? When do Dirk get his? Was that karma for King Vaughn? When do the GDs and BDs get theirs? When do the Latin kings get theirs? When do America get his? For what they did in Afghanistan. When? For Hiroshima. When? When do, if karma is real. Uh, no, get back, ain't got no date. If karma is real, white folk. Second Peter 3 and 3. Let's start at... Uh, Let's start at three. It says, knowing this, that there shall come in the last days scoffers walking after their own lust. Right? Let's start it. And let's read this in the NLT. It says, more importantly, you know what? Let's start at uh, two. It says, that ye may be mindful of the words which were spoken before by the holy prophets and of the commandment of us, the apostles, of the Lord and Savior, Savior, knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers walking after their own, their own lust, and saying, "Where is the promise of this of His coming?" Because we know that ultimately to point out karma is to point out God, and it's to say if to say there is no karma, it's basically to say ain't no God, and if He don't say there's if He don't necessarily subscribe to that, well. He basically say God gonna let them get away with things. 
right? Because you got some that think basically God exists, but how he moves is just some lazy, don't care type. Like he like like he slack or something, which is perfectly, you know, through the Spirit said, because that's what this go on to talk about. So it says, um, I'll just read on. We don't need the NLT. It says, for this. Let's start at first. Let's read on. It says, and saying, where is the promise of his coming, right? For since the fathers fell asleep, right? Some question, you know, they question God. They, they don't, they're not necessarily saying he doesn't exist, but they question him, right? Is there a real Messiah coming back? Y'all don't know him. They grow skeptical. They will grow skeptical. You, and you're starting to see this being demonstrated amongst people because this prophecy, right? And he, does, he doesn't know he's living on prophecy because he doesn't know the scriptures. Which is why he's actually going off and doing error, right? For since the fathers, but he's going to be proven wrong. But since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning, right, of the creation. It says, for this they willingly are ignorant of, right? Meaning what? In the NLT, they deliberately forget that God made the heavens by the word of his command, see? And he brought the earth out from the waters and surrounded it with water. See that? Off these same words, what's written in this book, it's been proven that the earth was flooded, right? They got all type of excavations that done took place, you know, uh, and whatnot by these different excavators and the, the, the way the mountain formations are tell, it, it, it's basically they do realize there's nothing but debris buildup, which is, you know, from a result that are analysts, right? It's just clear. Uh, shit being blown from whole other places in this one place as a pile up, moved all over the place because all hard dirt is is sediment. You know, debris buildup. You know, or, or a mountain is just, you know, a bunch of sediment built up and it, it, hard, it hardens. And they can see how they all form, that it basically caused the flood. Now, the, all that flood, that fl that flood was brought through the, through the scriptures. It manifested because that was in the Lord's will, right? Meaning it was simply in the words. It was of the words which Moses was speaking that are this, of the same words that are in the Bible, which are the same words of the, in this Bible. So it's the same thing, and they forget that. Like, the earth really flooded. But anyway, so for this, they willingly are ignorant of, back in the KJV, that by the word of God, the heavens were of old, and the earth standing out of the water and in the water, whereby the world that then was being overflowed with water perished. But the, but the heavens and the earth, which are now, by the same word, are kept in store. Everything is according to what the scriptures say. So that's why they ain't got payback. That's why we went into slavery. This is why we know they're going into slavery, right? And we're going to give you the reasons for why you, you all these questions you got. Well, why did karma? Where's King Mine? Where's the Mexican cartel? When America going to get theirs? You don't understand judgment. This is That's Proverbs 28 and 5. It says, but the heavens and the earth, meaning the skies and the earth, which are now, right, by the same word, are kept in store, reserved, unto fire against the day of judgment. The Lord going to burn this, 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 this time, he going to burn this world up with fire. America going to be submerged in, in fire. Everything and everybody in America. But that's a whole, that's, that's a whole nother breakdown. It says, against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, Right? That one day is with the Lord as a thousand years and a thousand years as one day. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise. America is promised to get there. That's the sinful kingdom. He's going to destroy off the face of the earth according to Amos 9 and 8. It says, but it's long suffering to us word, not willing that any should perish. He want those that need to hear this truth that he's uh Going to save, save out of this destruction, which he already swore who he, he, that he was going to save the individuals, and they were already picked, right, out of it. He need he have to give them time to where they can hear the things to where 
they will have the reason for why they will say he will save them. They're going to hear, okay, God, he wasn't lying. These, these pastors are lying. Okay, I see why America go get theirs. So I'm waiting. I'm betting on, betting on it with you. He needs them to get in that situation or where he can finally bring it. It's called the sealing of the elect, right? That's what's holding back the four winds on America, man. Ultimately, it says, but long suffering, but it's long suffering towards us. We're not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. All right. So, hey, he forget this Ecclesiastes three. And uh, you know what? Ecclesiastes eight and eleven, because since it's against an evil work is not executed speedily. Therefore, the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. Yeah. Speak, you know, wickedly of things they don't understand, not concerning dignities. Which make these people that do this Because they, they see people Like uh, these demons that Charles White, and, uh, White is, is naming off And these, these demon entities These places, whatever Not get destroyed immediately for the rap crap they did They start talking as if God he a, he a joke They start talking evil of dignity They let filthy corruption come out of their mouth They start saying anything You know what I'm saying? Because their heart become fully set in them Based off what they seeing They mind they make up in their mind, okay, it's just all bull, right? In the NLT, when a crime is not punished quickly, people feel that it's safe to do wrong. Niggas get complacent. And that's and those people that go on to do that, they become the brute beast that uh, Peter described. And they are actually people that was set up, predestinated to do that. You know, AKA made to be taken and destroyed. They were made to do that so they could be destroyed because the Lord is suffering all y'all. People like the, the so-called white people, people like all these demons he named off, and people like Charles White, White, Charles Charleston White that are now did this. You know? He done suffered the, the places he's naming off and the crimes they did, these people, you know, the crimes they did, and they never got nothing done to them. <clears throat> to where it now got people like Charleston White that the Lord set up to manifest. You know? talking crazy and he just he suffered them to, so to, to manifest him to where he could destroy them to show his power in all of them you know what i'm saying like nah you had it all twisted and you really do do, do error not knowing the scriptures man see that in the nlt socket well, verse 12 back in the kjv though a sinner do a evil a hundred times and his days be prolonged yet surely i know that it shall be well with them that fear the most high which fear before him it says but it shall not. So this is game for you. This is how things work. The evil, they, the wicked, they gon' they they run up a tab. They run up a tab. And Lord, he he allowed to show his mercy. How long? Cause then when he destroyed you, he like, look how long I gave you. And then it make everybody else around realize, like, damn. Make no turn to turn to the Lord. You should have been repentant. It's, it's it's all throughout history. Smite a scorner and the and the simple shall be aware. Right, but it shall not be well with the wicked, neither shall he prolong his days, which are as a shadow. So, he once again, a thousand years here is one day with the Lord, he on a different time. It ain't, he ain't really, this ain't really been going on that long, you know. Niggas' fame and talking shit is short lived once it comes to an end. It can, they could have did it for a hundred years and die horribly. Like, damn, you spend a hundred years talking shit, and if they die horrifically to where it wake everybody up, like, damn, he finally went out, man, dang. They're going to be like, that wasn't it. all that for nothing. Now he hated it. Then that's what people get it. See? So don't ever think that, man. They home one and three. The Lord is slow to anger and great in power and will not at all quit, quit the wicked. The Lord hath his way in the whirlwind and in the storm. And that whirlwind is what's being seen right now. He's, he's getting his way. He, he, you know how he gonna get it done. Who are you to, you know, to reply against your maker, man? You know, that whirlwind translates to what's going on right now. What's that? A damn hurricane, man. You know, you got moms out here swimming in they, you know, and people still, you know, it ain't nothing. That's why the Lord ain't just quick to do it. He like really want to show people like, like he trying to show them like, look, Look what you was doing. And, you know, he just letting everything build up. And he want to show people his real power. Like, it's like if we, if like, like you got game speed, then you got practice speed, walkthrough speed, right? Or you training somebody like you match 
you go down to their level, you condescend. So the Lord only going to meet you where you at. But if he's trying to make his power known, he got to let these people really like, you know, his power is seen in his rebuke, his punishment, his chastisement, his scourges, all of the, the, the spirits he got created for vengeance that he can send forth. He has to let those things in which those things were created for to take out. Say, look upon all the works of the Lord. And there are two or two, one against another, right? Two and two, two and two, one against another, right? He has to let those things that those things were created for manifest and get to their point to where they can come. Because that's when what? His power will be known, you know? Let me get one quick scripture. <laughs> this is this is wasn't with Solomon 12 and 17. For when men will not believe that thou art of a full power, thou shewest thy strength. See that? And among them that know it, Thou makest their boldness manifest. And that's why we, hey, basically, this is a way. You know, me knowing the terror of the Lord, we, I'm persuading y'all, man, that listen to this that video, man, and him himself. And, all right. It says, you know, and people that think like him, it says, but thou mastering thy power. So that's when the Lord, he, you know. But anyway, but thou mastering thy power judges with equity and orderest with great favor. For thou mayest use power when thou wilt. This is talking about the most high. He uses his power when he wilt. He shows his power when people won't think he have a full strength, right? But he got to let, okay, if I'm going to show my full strength, let me, you know, so people can really see it, you know? <laughs> the Lord, he's righteous like that. He going to be unjust and just knock somebody the hell out and they're out going, y'all even at that speed. You ain't, you know, you ain't did nothing for me to hit you with all I got. You know, and I saying when he do finally destroy America, that's all he got. And the Lord, man, listen, the Lord ain't no ending or beginning to him. He he is. His name is Yahweh, meaning he to be. He he exists. He just is. Right? It says, but by such works hast thou taught thy people that the just man should be merciful. See that? That exactly by how he moved, he's showing us what mercy looks like. And has made thy children to be of a good hope that thou givest repentance for sins, right? You know, because basically you get a chance to turn back from it based off the time you get, you know, from sin to sin. Like you, you get all this time from the time, like just day to day. But you don't supposed to take that for granted and make Terry the turn of the Lord repent, because that's when he come get your ass. You know, eventually you get caught slipping. You know, you better watch the end of uh Charleston White. You better watch the end of then getting then uh Kane uh what's his name? Yeah, Kane get his. And he wished he said his father's grandfather asked if he he ever cared if he died or live, and he was like he do, but now it's too late. See, because he made Terry to repent to turn to the Lord, aka because repent means to turn again. You Israelites gotta turn back to the Heavenly Father, man. Right? <laughs> Turn back to the estate when you didn't do, you wouldn't, you know. Man, it says, for if thou punish thy enemies, didst punish thy enemies, it's like it. But for if thou did punish the enemies of thy children, right, which is America, and his children being, the thy being the most high, his children being the Israelites, the so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native American Indians. And those that believe in him first and foremost, chiefly, because the rest of y'all that don't, that are able Israelites, which meaning you a so-called black, Latino, and Native American Indian. If you don't believe in him, he ain't, you ain't none of his. You know what I'm saying? He gonna treat you like you none of his. You know? But, so, this is talking about us, ultimately. He said, on our enemies, if thou didst punish the enemies of thy children, America, so-called white people, etc., other so-called black people against so-called black people, right? So-called Latino people against, you know, whatever, right? All of us. It says, and the, and, and the condemned to death, right? If you did punish them and, and the condemned people who are, who's already written to get there, it's like Esau, so-called white man, to death, right? Just kill them with such deliberation, right? Giving them time and place whereby they might be delivered from their malice. See that? With how great circumspection didst thou judge thy own sons unto whom fathers thou hast sworn and made covenants of good promises. See that? Therefore, we whereas thou dost chastening us, 
Thou scourges our enemies a thousand times more to the intent that when we judge, we should carefully think of thy goodness. And when we ourselves are judged, we should look for mercy. See that? We're at we're for whereas men have lived this have lived dissolutely and unrighteously. Thou hast tormented them with their own abominations. See? <laughs> He giving them the time to like sit, make their bed, and, and, and lay in it when they forced to stay in it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like you can't get out of it, do nothing else, change. You stuck here. Point. So the point is, don't ever think the Lord ain't gonna get these months back. You know, and put your ass on bed rest. See, this is Nahum one and two. The Most High is jealous, and the Lord and the Lord revenges. The Lord Yahweh revenges. And it's furious. He's angry with the wicked every day, the scriptures say. But it says, the Lord, Yahweh, will take vengeance. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, who people ignorantly call Jesus Christ, Yahweh Shai, it says, will take vengeance on his adversaries. And he and he reserved wrath for his enemies. Right? The Lord, Yahweh, is slow to anger and great in power. And will. So once a nigga then spent, like the base of the Lord doing a rope dope that's basically what he's doing. Like when Muhammad Ali fought George Foreman, he let these niggas run it all up till they exhausted all, you know, they can exhaust, and then he hit them. They out of there, you know? And then that's when everybody realized how smart of a fought, fight, you know, he would have fought. He had, you know, like Muhammad Ali. But anyway, it says the Lord Yahweh, how much more Yahweh, right? Forget Muhammad Ali. It says the Lord is slow to anger and great in power. And will not at all acquit the wicked. So he gonna hit back. Don't think that the Lord Yahweh will have his way in the world, in the whirlwind, in the storm, and the clouds are the dust of his feet. On the dead all the time. You believe in karma? Nah. Oh, you don't? No, I don't believe okay. in karma. That's because you eat pork. No, 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 no. Because if, if karma were real, when do white people get theirs for slavery? Ooh. If karma. See, and these dudes wicked, man. They they heard the Bible. You can see how he looked. He probably thought Hebrew Israelites told me this. I heard this from them. He probably thought that. Because the Lord said, have they not all heard? They heard. Charleston White heard. So when they get, they just think, like when they hear the Bible, they be like, some of them be like, that's true, but that ain't going to come to pass no time soon. So it's basically they go on and with them thinking that, basically believing that Ain't nothing ever going to happen. <laughs> but they got the answer. That's why I says, lean not upon their own heart. The heart is desperately wicked above all things you've been told. Just like we were told. So they wicked, man. They know. You can see the look on his face. Anyway. <laughs> Real, when do white people get theirs for slavery? I would say they're stupid. You know what I'm saying? Like, the Lord just blinding them, man. But, hey, somebody got to play this role because this was all written that people was going to be like this. So it, it is what it is, you know, not calling him good. You know, you outright wicked if y'all heard, which we know more than likely y'all have, and you still saying this. You the wicked, man. You the wicked of the Lord's people, you know? You a bad fuck for that one. I'm going to give you that one. I'm going to give you that one. When do the Mexican cartel get tails for chopping heads off and killing babies? Like Charleston White just done, <laughs> like he done got all the answers. He he done figured it. He done figured it out. He the one. It's always a dude like him, and then they they be out of there. You know, like I said, like Kevin Samuels. Not to keep talking on the dead. You know, he back in his right mind now. You know, ultimately he gonna come back and eat a nuke. So really, you know what I'm saying. But you know, nonetheless, it's always a dude like him, and he the next one. <laughs> when do the Crips and Bloods get theirs? When do dirt get heels? Was that karma for King Vaughn? When do the GDs and BDs get theirs? When do the Latin Kings get theirs? This is Proverbs 25, 28 and 5. Evil men understand not judgment, but they that seek the Lord understand all things. How do men get their judgment? Shalakia. Hebrews in the ninth chapter in the 28th verse it says well in the 26th verse well it started at 27 the point in 27 
It says, and as it is appointed unto men once to die, but after this, the judgment. The judgment deals with uh, um, pretty much somebody getting back what they're supposed to get back for what they did, the life they lived, and etc. So I read 2 Ezra 14 and 35, for after death, the shout of judgment come when we shall live again. Right, and you probably they had an effed up life. Lord, going, you know, you did wrong your 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 previous life because this is dealing with reincarnation. You going, your life going to be effed up. You might get shot in the head when you six and live through it. You might break all the bodies in your bones. You might die. Like everybody, like we all living out uh, a judgment based off our past life. Period. So King Von's karma was something he did based off his past life. And he live out a life to where in his present, he will get, basically he'll live a life to where it seemed like he got shot for the people he was shooting this life. But really, that was just ways to get him the judgment the Lord wanted to give him based off what he did in his past life, which is ultimately him getting shot. See that? Which makes it all justified, you know? But it says... And then shall the names of the righteous be manifest, and the works of the ungodly shall be declared. So now you know who the prophets is coming back. The spirit of the prophets are subject to the prophets. Based on based on how people's lives are going, you can tell who who, you know what I'm saying? Like we all dealing with stuff, you know what I'm saying? Um, catch hell. We all went off. But you know, that's how it worked. But evil men don't understand these things. So I'll close here. Ecclesiastes 3 and 14. I know that whatsoever the Most High doeth. Right. He had this book put together. The Most High gave the word. Great with the company of those that published it. It says, I know what that whatsoever the Most High doeth, it shall be forever. Nothing can be put to it, nor anything taken from it. Right. You can't take away from the word, nor add to it. Don't diminish it. Right. But ultimately, you do err not knowing the scriptures. You know? Because obviously if you take or add to the book, the Lord is going to take away your name out of the book of life. And add, you know, tell you that in Proverbs, the book of this prophecy, you know, the words of this prophecy. It's a whole book prophecy ultimately, right? It says, and the most high do it, right? It, that men should fear before him, you know? So everything, he going to get America. He going to get these people. He got these people, you know? He going to put Esau in slavery, so-called white man. That which has been is now, and that which is to be hath already been. And the most high requireth that which is past. And that ties into judgment, how, how this karma thing works. So the Lord, he see everything these ones done did, and he going to get them. He requires everything that people have done, you know what I'm saying, including America. That's drunk from the blood of the saints. This place is going to go out bad, but he don't know that. Which is why he's saying this and why he does err not knowing the scriptures, you know. Which is what he's doing, Aaron. Why? Because he don't know the scriptures. So this is why it's important to know the scriptures. You know, what um, having a void, um, what not knowing the scriptures is avoiding your life looks like. You know what I'm saying? It sounds like, you know, as a so-called black person. Something like that. So with that, call Halam Layahawa, Ba'ashem Yahawa Shai, Waha, Wachakodash, Shalom.